Hello and welcome back with another video on Microsoft Azure Synapse Analytics Series. In this video, we will see how to connect the dedicated SQL pool with Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Actually, this video is the continuation of the previous one. In the previous video, we created a dedicated SQL pool and for that we created a SQL Server and we checked this part as well, which was actually pausing and resuming the compute node. In this video, we will connect the SQL Server with Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and for that we need to download and install the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio app. Here I am on my Microsoft Azure portal and I have opened my SQL pool which was called as SQL pool name and under that I had the server of SQL Server 456. First thing I need to do is that I will copy my server name and on the Google Chrome, I will type in as Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio to download SQL Server Management Studio. So I will click on first official link from Microsoft. I will click on this link. It says free download for SQL Server Management Studio. Yeah, you can see it has been started. It will take some time actually. So what I will do is that I will pause my recording here and I will come back when my recording will be completed actually. Alright, I am back and as you can see in the download section that my SQL Server Management Studio has successfully been downloaded. Actually what I will do is that I will just click on this setup, open it and I will start the installation process. The first step is the location which is actually fine, the default one is fine for me. So I will click on install, it's actually loading the packages for me and saying that I should wait here. Alright, as you can see that the installation process has been started. So I will wait for a while until it completes and then we will be actually start exploring our SQL Server Management Studio. Yeah, alright, you can see that my Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio with Azure Data Studio has successfully been installed. I will just close this one and I will close this tab as well let me just load yeah sql server management studio 19 it will open up for me yeah you can see here that my microsoft sql server management studio has successfully been launched and what i need to do here is that i want to connect my sql server with this one actually first of all the first thing is that i will resume my server here you know that in the previous lesson we paused our server because we not want microsoft to charge us for the compute charges so now i want to use this server so i will resume it it will take a while to resume the server for you so i will copy again the server name so here in the server name what i will do actually i will just copy my server name here so inside the authentication i will just click on see SQL Server Authentication and here in the login I will provide my admin user name which I used to create this server and here in the password I will provide my admin password. I will click on remember password and let me see whether my server has been resumed or not. Yeah. You can see here that resume database success. I'll just close this one out and I will come back to my server management studio and I'll just click on connect. So if you remember that when we created the server in the previous lesson, we didn't allow our client IP address to access the server. So now in the firewall settings of the server, you actually have to provide the IP address, current IP address of this PC actually. To do so, there are two options. The first one is that you can sign in to your Microsoft Azure account from here and you can allow this client's IP address. The other one is that we need to go back to our Microsoft Azure Studio which is the more preferred method. So I will go back to my Microsoft Azure portal. Actually to allow my current IP address what I will do is that I will open up the new instance of this Microsoft Azure portal and from here I will go to my main dashboard and here I will type in and here I will just write SQL servers and inside the SQL servers I will get my main SQL server like SQL Server 456 which is actually my server for the SQL pool. So here what I will do is that I will open up my networking settings. So in the networking what I will do is that I will just add my current IP client IP address here. So I'll just click on this one and you can see that it's my current IP address which would be actually allowed by this server. So if I go back to my SQL Server Management Studio you can see that it's the same IP address 
which is going to access this server like 103.111.39.228 so you can see right here so what i will do now is to just click on save so it successfully updated server firewall rules so i'll just click on close and i will come back to the overview and to check whether it's allowed or not i'll go back there and you can see here that my current client ip address is right here so now i'll just close this one out and i will come back to my sql server so i'll just cancel it and click on connect again yeah now you can see that our connection is successful yes you can see right here that here are my databases so inside our sql pool name you remember that we created the demo database in the previous lesson so these tables are coming from that and there will be views and some other data as well so in the upcoming videos, we'll be using our Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio to actually manage our server and to manage our data inside our server.